When baristas start pouring latte out, they usually think of the classic rosetta. It's a beautiful pattern, but it can be tricky to master all the different movements when you're first starting out. So today we're looking at the tulip. This thing can be clean and is very impressive and we find it's a lot easier for beginners to master. So stay with us and we'll show you how it's done. G'day, my name's Josh and I'm here at the Coffee Science and Education Centre and we're looking at the tulip. So we're going to break this down into a series of steps. First, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a jug with a very defined pouring spout. You're going to need a cup that's not too wide at the lip. A latte art glass or a tulip shaped cup works best. Spooky, I know. A shot or shots of espresso. I mean, you're going to drink this at the end of it, aren't you? A silky milk texture with your milk and a whole lot of determination to see this thing through. So let's get to it. We have our espresso and we have our steamed milk. Let's run through this process step by step. Hold the jug with the hand that you write with and the cup with your other hand. It is important that you hold the cup off the bench and that you tip the cup and the jug towards each other to start your latte art. Another good tip is to hold the jug with that very nice tight pinch right at the join. This is like your writing implement and you'll be able to move the tip a lot easier when you're doing those nice sharp lines. Start pouring from a few centimeters above the lip of the cup. And when you get to around halfway, this is when you bring the tip of the jug close to the surface of your milk and you gently put a circle right into the center. Slightly push it forward and stop. For the second layer, do exactly the same thing again. Keep your pouring arm and wrist straight and tip that jug and cup towards each other. As that second circle pours, you'll notice that the first layer draws back towards the outside of the cup and gets thinner, forming that perfect semicircle shape. For our final tulip, we start and repeat the same process. But instead of stopping, you lift the jug up a few centimeters until you have a very thin stream of milk and then you want to pull through all three layers. And boom, you have your very first tulip. Okay, let's go through the steps one more time. First of all, tip the cup towards a jug and pour a circle. Come back and pour a second circle just behind the first layer, pushing towards the center of the cup with your pour. Very gently come up and away from the surface and pull through each layer to finish. Now, of course, this takes a lot of practice to get all the movements right and to have them work together continuously. Here's some quick tips and troubleshooting ideas to make sure your tulip looks like a tulip and doesn't turn into a cactus. When you're thinking about doing latte art, you want to think about how the milk lands on the surface. A small drop from jug to the surface of your coffee will cause the latte art to sit on top of the surface looking very nice and pretty. With a very high, thin pour, this will cause the milk to sink under the surface of your canvas and suck all the other milk in with it. This creates a very nice, tight and thin cut. Another tip, practice the pouring motion with water. Every time you do latte art, you want to pour nice and continuously. The way you do that is when you pour water, try and make sure that stream always stays at the same thickness every single time you do your latte out. It's only towards the end that you do a very nice thin stream to do your really tight cuts. Also practice doing those stops and starts. Bang, bang, bang. This will put it into your mind's eye about how you can get that chiller happening. Now don't wait too long before pouring. Once the milk foam starts to separate, you'll get blobs rather than silky layers. You can swirl the milk within the jug to keep it silky, or you can even mix it back and forth between two jugs to remix that texture back up. But either way, it will not last too long. So you want to begin your pour as soon as you can. So that is the basic three layer chillip. Once you get good at this, you can try and push the envelope and go for three, four, five, maybe even 15. Or you can get schooled by your colleagues and they can show you how to pour a chillip. I want to know how you approach the chillip. Definitely put it in the comments and let me know what tips and tricks you think about when you're pulling a chillip. Let me know how it works. See you guys next time.